Hello and welcome back to another how-to Django tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to order an object by the latest farm key. All right. So actually, this is probably a lot easier to do in code than actually explain what I'm trying to do. But what we're trying to do is over at Mastercode Online, we have uh, courses. All right. And these courses consist of like Python 3.7, Django 2.0, so on, all right, there are courses. And then we have uh, tutorials, which are a foreign key. They're actually a second foreign key because we have chapters or sections in between um, tutorials and the actual courses. Now, what we need to do is we want to display the, late, uh, the latest, or the course with the latest tutorial at the top of our course list, all right? So to do that, we need to go and check when the last tutorial was added to the database and then base our ordering of our courses off of that. All right. And this, you know, it, it sounds difficult, um, but if you understand the concept, it's really not that hard. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna bring in the max class, all right? And what the max class does is it gets us the maximum of um, whatever we're checking. So in our case, it's gonna be the date. And the maximum date is gonna be the latest date, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and do uh, from Django.db.models uh, import max, all right? So down here, this is our current course list. Um, query and this query basically just returns our courses that are active to us all right and they're going to order them based off the date they were added to that database so the 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 um the last one being added will be at the bottom the first one being added will be at the top all right not too nice if you're trying to get people to watch your latest tutorials all right so the next thing we need to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to go ahead and um add annotate so we're going to go annotate like that a n n o t a t e all right and then we're going to set a temporary variable if you will at latest and then set that equal to max all right and then in here we are going to go ahead and get the foreign key of um courses but in the way we have our set up just so you guys don't get confused what I'm doing here. We got courses and then we got uh, down here, we got chapter. All right. And that's the section that you guys might have seen on our website in between um, other tutorials. All right. So we got chapter and then we got another um, foreign key right here, which is our tutorial. So tutorial is actually two off of um, course or one off of course, I guess it would be. Um, so it's down a little bit. So just so you guys understand what's going on here. Next, we're going to go ahead and say chapter underscore underscore. I'll move the server so you guys can see it. Add tutorial underscore underscore and then create a date. And the create date is with the tutorial. Create date is and not spelled correctly. So there's an E in there. Create a date is something we added to the database. All right. Um, so cool. All right. So we got the, we use max latest or right, max and we're getting the maximum latest date. Now we say that we kind of save that to the, uh, to the variable here, but this ain't going to do us any good unless we do something with this variable. How, what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and order underscore by, whoops, by, and then we're going to go ahead and put, um, a hyphen and then latest. And this will go ahead and return the latest um, um, <laughs> tutorial to us. I was drawing a blank there. So how does this all work? Well, if we go up to our website here and we go to courses, and the last tutorial we added was in how the Django 2.0. Uh, if you're not aware that all our tutorials are added written prior to, so members can review them prior to me doing the videos. So uh, there we go. Uh, so the last tutorial was added to how to Django and that's this tutorial and then prior to that there was a Python 3.7 tutorial So there you go. That's how it all works. So if you guys have any questions Please let me know at mastercode.online. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where I teach you something cool in Django